Hey guys, I am going to be out this week. So I'm putting together a little video for you to explain what the expectations are. Okay, so you are going to go into week 11 to get our assignment and it's going to be you're going to create your own political party. Okay, it's going to be in PowerPoint form. So there's four different parts to it. And then um, you can just read the directions here. It is worth 100 points, so please take it seriously. It's going to be weighted at 50%. It's going to serve as your assessment for the elections unit. So it just says your assessment is to create a political party. So you're going to try to get creative and just use some things that we learned in class and make your own political party, OK? Um, and you're going to define it with a political platform. And then you're going to kind of launch like a little election campaign where you're going to make a poster um, and then do write a little speech. And then at the end of the week, you're going to record that speech. OK, so I'll give you those directions when that time comes. So there's four parts here. The first part is going to be to build a platform. OK, so you are going to go back to your notes if you can remember. Yeah, right here. So your E2 notes, remember you have that little paste in on your spiral. And you're going to use this as kind of a point to decide how you feel about these things like big government. Do you want high taxes or low taxes? Are people in your country going to be taxed more if they're rich, taxed less if they're poor? Are you going to trade with other countries, right? Are you going to reduce government spending on those social programs that help people in need? Are you going to get rid of those programs altogether? Are you going to use more of tax money to go towards building a stronger military? Or do you want it to go more towards education or a universal health care system? So you need to decide all these things. Um, also, like, are you going to include prayer in public schools? Are you going to give everybody equal rights? So those are things that you are going to think about when you fill out this, this slide right here. OK, so the, I put up there to use your E2 notes for that. Now, the next um, slide is part two. You're going to come up with a party name, a slogan and a logo. All right. So if you um, want to just go online and find some ideas, I'm OK with you copying and pasting those ideas as as far as your logo goes. But I do want you to be original. So obviously you're not going to use like stuff from the Republican Party or the Democrat Party or the Green Party or the Libertarian Party. You're going to be original in your ideas there, if that makes sense. And then part three, you're going to make a campaign poster. OK, so you can um, create be again, be creative and be original. And that's saying you could have a picture of you. It could have a picture of your party logo and your slogan there. So you're just putting together a poster. And then part four is going to be your campaign speech. So I've included examples here. You're more than well to, welcome to use some of those ideas. But again, I want these to be your words that reflect your ideas about how you want to run a country. And you will just type that in to that last slide there. OK, so that is your assignment to work on this week. I am putting in grades like a crazy person. So you guys need to be looking into IC and making sure that um, you are staying caught up. So I, I did put in the election journal. You need to make sure you submit that. That is from last week. So don't be afraid to go down and dig into these that the these assignments that we had last week. So the I voted selfie, the election journal, there was a discussion question about if you were surprised about the results of the election. OK, and then you might even want to look at that prior week, week nine. Some of you have still not turned in that state ballot. And again, there was a discussion question on voter suppression. All right. So check I see if you get any of those things turned in and you don't see those re grades reflected in I see in the next day or two, please email me. If you have any questions about anything going on or this week's assignment, just email me. All right, guys, I will be available on Schoology. Hope you have a great week. Bye.